and welcome back to Teal House Farm Race Edition. It's a beautiful fall day. The little, well, not little, I guess those are the middle kids, right? Are out riding some bikes. The sheep and the goats, if I can find them here, looking backwards, they're behind me. Can you see them? Are enjoying some pasture. We moved them to the back again, getting fat and sassy. And uh, Ivy and I are making some elderberry syrup, which is simmering on the stove. And we're wasting some time by riding some bikes outside. And then, you need help? We need some rescuing here. And then I think we're gonna get some gardening stuff done, ready for spring. It's never too early to start working on your spring garden. And I know last video I talked a little bit about what we were doing. We're gonna start moving in that direction. I'm gonna show you what I think I'm gonna make my raised beds out, out of, and then you can tell me what you think, because some of you have experience with this. Hey, get on your bike, I'll give you a push. Um, so yeah, let's do that. You ready? <laughs> Ivy's elderberry syrup has simmered down. Now what are we gonna do? Mash it. Yes, JJ. My nose is still picky. Yeah, don't pick your nose. I'm sorry, it's picky today. It's still hot. All right. I don't really you said you didn't like how it yeah. smells. Do you like how it smells now? I, I think it smells it. like Christmas. Oh, okay. thank you. Look who woke up from their nap. Ready? Squash. Say Talk. hi. <laughs> hi. Do you want to go get a snacky? Do you go potty? It's getting hot. Now. I want to go get a snack. So our elderberry syrup, I'll link the recipe below here. We're going to keep it in the fridge in these. If you dab it on it, Mom, the juice comes out. These cool little bottle jars. They're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, we bought them because we used to make kombucha, but I have never liked even how kombucha smells, so I just gave up following that trend. So they're good for elderberry. Don't make them gross. I'm going to wash them again. What? <laughs> but they're good for elderberry syrup. Um, we make a small batch at a time. It's good for four to five weeks in the fridge, and then we'll make another one. So we just freeze the berries. The and I'll link the recipe below. Um, if you want to try it yourself, but it's pretty simple and it's a way to kind of boost your immune system here. Give it a little extra antioxidants and vitamin C and other goodies so that it's ready to defeat whatever germs this winter throws your way. Man, it looks like a heart, doesn't it? Ew. To the top. All right, stop there. Hey, Goobs. Goobs, don't hit the kitty, okay? I know you're trying to help Patton, but you got to be nice, okay? Just tell him to go. Go away. Here we go. Okay, so my plan is raised beds go here and here, and then it'll be a garden garden all the way across here. Gotta clear all that out for the spring. We got lots of time to do that. But as with all things to do around here, we try not to spend any money, right? Or as little money as possible and to build what we have. So I wanna show you what I have and you tell me whether you think I could make two raised beds out of this that'll last a decent amount of time. I mean, they don't have to last forever, but if I could get five or six years, you know, from them before I have to maybe do something different, then that would be awesome. Let's see, here's what I got. So I have this roofing tin that I was thinking I could use on the sides. So it would be a rectangle and it would be as long as one tin. So these are pretty long. Uh, I'm gonna say maybe 10 foot long and then they would be so each side of the rectangle will be 10 feet long, and then however many feet tall this is. Uh, 
Maybe these are two feet, two and a half feet. So the boxes would be 10 feet long on the long side. I would cut two panels in half to make the short ends of the rectangle, so that's five feet, and then two feet deep, or two and a half feet, whatever that ends up being. So deep enough to prevent hopefully some weeds, and then also you won't really need to do a lot of bending over to work in it, which will be nice change. Um, and then for the frame, so the frame that those panels will sit in, I'm thinking about using these. Um, these are cedar fence post picket thingies, and we have so many of them. My only concern is they're pretty thin. You know, these aren't real thick pieces of wood, but from what I hear, cedar is rot resistant. So I'd make the frame out of these cedar posts, like this, the box, and then the panels would sit um, on the insides of the frame to finish it off. I could make the whole thing out of those cedar posts maybe there's quite a few but it would definitely be smaller these boxes would maybe be six or seven feet long um and maybe four or five feet wide so i can get a bigger i can get two larger boxes if i use the tin um we got some guests here hi there did you hear me in here thinking i was given more snackies there's no more snackies uh tell me what you think about that though i've seen people make raised beds out of all sorts of things but nobody really feel like like they show the video of them making it but then I want to go back you know five years later is that raised bed still there I mean does it still work is it a mess do you have to like redo it every other year so let me know what you think about that material choice and maybe some problems I'm not thinking of really interested in what your thoughts are hey giving me the crazy eye hi you, hi, you. Um, I can with it to be done in the garden but that's all right that's kind of what happens just one of those days Meh. there you go I'm trying to keep that balance so try that okay so dinner is almost ready we are having a ham roast that's been in the crock pot all day and i made skillet bread which is like a focaccia type bread it's really fast i make it whenever like i didn't have time to make bread or like right now our bread makers you want a cup of joe no. bread makers dead a cup of joe it's butter here probably can't see i can't tip it enough um, so it's just really fast bread that you get on the table. And I'll link that below too if you want to see how we do it. Is it finished? Go. Is it finished? Well, it's finished rising. Eating it. Here, Here I'll, show, I'll show you. It's kind of like pizza dough. You take your fingers, Ivy, and you just we're just going to lightly tap it so it gets little dimples in it. Like mini craters. Yep. Yeah. All around the dough. To the little secret tournament. It's our tea. Perfect. Now we're just waiting for Daddy to get home. Any minute. Get up there. Stay on the grass. You made it. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. <coughs> hey, roll his window back up, JJ. <laughs> How was school? Uh, good. I had a, I had a good, day. good day. I did well on my... I had two tests today. I got a lot of my discussion posts done. Dad, I'll my close break, it for so. you. Oh. Okay, good. go for it. Who wants some dinner? Yeah. All right, let's go wash hands. Is it pizza dough? It's kind of like pizza, but it's got butter and cheese. Yeah, but if it's, is it pizza dough? No, pizza but bread. it's kind of like pizza dough. It's pizza bread. I love it. Oh, my God. I'm going to fall. It's just a little oh. different. It's just a little different. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Oh. 
It's most pile of hair. Um. Hey Annie. Did you have a good day today? Good. What'd you do in therapy? I love it. Oh yeah. JJ, come sit 